backup antenna known as Kirya KG exist, Rita Varadsky could not escape the loops. And as long as the backup antenna known as Rita Varadsky exist, Kirya KG could not escape the loops. So it was said by the Valkyrie herself, the goddess of the battlefield or the goddess of battlefields, Rita Varadsky, aka the full metal bitch, to Kirya KG, who would soon become known as Killer Cage, because Killer Cage is but an insult which Kirya KG takes as his moniker, something which he embraces for killing the Valkyrie herself, the full metal bitch, Rita Varadsky, in what was a truly epic encounter, an epic battle between two soldiers, jacket soldiers who have known each other for one day, one day exactly before the deciding battle which will decide the fate of humanity in their battle, their war against the mimics, these creatures, alien engineered creatures from hell itself, and this battle guys and gals, only Rita Varadsky had known about her fate at the hands of Kyria KG, Killer Cage, because she has known that she must die by his hand, but she won't make it easy for him, this battle must be decided between two soldiers, two warriors, Alpha and Omega, Red and Blue, the Full Metal Bitch and Killer Cage, Rita Varutsky, the Valkyrie, the Goddess of Battlefields and Kyria KG, the Survivor, the Hero of Wars and goddamn guys and gals, what an epic fight this was. This fight was so fucking epic and so hardcore, it was guys and gals, I mean Kyria KG, unlike most protagonists in fiction, he knows what he must do and he accepts it a few moments later despite the fact that he would have to kill Rita Varadsky, the woman who Kirya KG has known for only one day, one single day, but a day which has repeated over and over and fucking over again because of the number of times, 160 times exactly, he died, 160, these numbers of times is recorded on his hand right here, his front palm, and goddamn guys and gals, just like Rita Varadsky had ended the war in her nation in the US of A, the United States of America, Kyria KG had finally ended the war in Japan, the land of the rising sun, and finally he can breathe and live, even though he would have to live with the scar in his soul, this wound which will take so many years upon many more years to heal, both the trauma of dying so many goddamn times, PTSD suffered by soldiers in war, which Rita Varutsky had also endured that and dying so many goddamn times, over 200 times mind you, and of course being forced to fight and do battle with and eventually kill Rita Varutsky with his own hands, with his axe actually, but he defeated her and killed her in the process, thus he has won and became the alpha, the strongest between them, and this battle guys and gals was so damn awesome and it was made all the more awesome and emotional because of these two bonding with each other before said battle took place on the final day of the war in Japan because the war guys and gals is far from over across the globe which Kyria KG is now transferred to the US special forces taking the place of the Valkyrie the goddess of battlefields becoming the god of the battlefield the survivor killer cage the hero of wars these two guys and gals have bonded and shared their experiences with each other other, both the good and the bad, including their love for food, drinks, and so many more things. And speaking of drinks, Kyria KG had promised to treat Rita Varutsky to some delicious tea, green tea, which Rita Varutsky was very curious about. And that line, guys and gals, that question she was asking him the first time she met him on the first day he died. Likewise, Rita Varutsky would teach Kyria KG how to make American style coffee, good coffee, and my god guys and gals, I love one detail about both Rita Varutsky and Kyria KG, and that is how the two of them distinguish themselves among their fellow soldiers by painting their jacket, their jacket suit, red and blue, respectively. Red is something which Rita Varutsky hated so much, but it made her stand out and made her an easy target for the mimics, and Rita Varutsky, her favorite, color is indeed 
blue, which Kiria KG also had a fondness for. He did, guys and gals, and that's why he painted his own suit blue in the memory of Rita Barutsky, as blue as the blue sky, which Rita Barutsky was so fond of. She was, guys and gals, these two guys and gals, I fucking love them so goddamn much, and so few couples in history of fiction, couples, duos, or whatever, they never touch my heart as much as these two have. These two guys and gals had equal roles in this war, and both of them have fulfilled their roles. They did, guys and gals, and Kirya Keiji had learned a lot from Rita Baratsky, including in the way she fights and the way she moves, and likewise, he had inspired her, Rita Baratsky, Sakurazaka, Hiroshi's All You Need Is Kill is without question one of my favorite novels and tales told in fiction. It's that damn good, guys and gals. It's so good and so awesome and so heartfelt as well as funny at times. It can, guys and gals, and that's why I love it so goddamn much and why I do recommend you guys and gals read Sakurazaka Hiroshi's All You Need Is Kill. Please do. And thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish. And do check out my gaming channel where I do Let's Play series, gaming contents, and so much more. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.